The evolution of the nursing profession is attributed by great leaders of the field, such as Dr. Patricia Brenner. Patricia Brenner was born in August of 1942 in Hampton, Virginia. Her family ended up moving to California, where she completed high school. Patricia became interested in nursing when she was working as an admitting clerk at a local hospital. She entered the field in the 1960s after graduating from Pasadena College. Her early contributions were as a head nurse of the coronary care unit at the Kansas City General Hospital and an intensive care staff nurse at the Stanford University Hospital and Medical Center. Brenner then crossed over to the academic side from 1970 until 1975 as a research associate at San Francisco School of Nursing. Her time in research produced great fruit and she was able to publish her most recognized book called Novice to Expert Nursing Pathways for Patient Safety. Here she introduced the from novice to expert model. The premise of the novice to expert model is inspired by Dreyfus model of skill acquisition. It takes into account increments in skilled performance based upon experience as well as education. And of course, given my um, 30 years immersed in the Dreyfus model of skill acquisition, um, which is a model of experiential learning, uh, whereby the person is now using past whole concrete experiences as a way of entering and recognizing the nature of the situation. One of the ways of thinking about the Dreyfus model of skill acquisition is that through, uh, through experiential learning, you come to live in quite a different world. And the perfect analog for that is what it's like to enter a new culture or begin to speak a new language. Uh, at first, everything is quite objectified and matching the textbook with the situation until you begin to embody the language. It's, um, it's, it becomes natural to say hola instead of hello. Um, you dwell in a new uh, human life world when you go to a new culture. Well, the same is true when you develop new skills. You begin to be able to see new things based on your past experiential learning. And so the thinking behind uh, how human beings develop skills and how skilled know-how is a way of embodying knowledge permeates. This theory, in other words, describes that nurses grow their skills and understand patient care from experience and through proper education. Dr. Patricia Benner introduced the concept that expert nurses develop skills and understanding of patient care over time through a sound educational base as well as a multitude of experiences. She proposed that one could gain knowledge and skills without ever learning the theory. She further explains that the development of knowledge in applied disciplines such as medicine and nursing is composed of the extension of practical knowledge, such as research and clinical experience. She described five levels of nursing experience as novice, advanced beginner, competent, proficient, and expert. A novice is a beginner with no experience. This would be a nursing student in their first year of clinical education. That would be us. Novices have a very limited ability to predict what might happen in a particular patient situation. So, uh, while uh, a novice uh, student, one of my dear colleagues, gave me the example of dropping her pin into the wash water and suddenly having the patient become cyanotic. Well, that's a novice mistake. No one would really, who is familiar with seeing cyanosis uh, in the flesh, would think of uh, the uh, coloring of cyanosis from bath water, uh, or the coloring of blue from bath water as, as ringing true as true cyanosis. Advanced beginner. 
These are the new grads in their first jobs, demonstrating acceptable performance. Advanced beginners have had more experiences that allow them to recognize recurrent, meaningful components of a situation. They may have the knowledge, but not enough in-depth experience. Competent nurses are typically with two to three years of experience on the job in the same area or in similar day-to-day -day situations. They recognize patterns and nature of clinical situations more quickly and accurately. Perspective is gained from planning own actions based on conscious, abstract, and analytical thinking, helping to achieve greater efficiency and organization. Proficient. At this level, nurses are capable to see situations as whole parts. Proficient nurses learn from experience what events typically occur and can modify plans in response to different events. They have more holistic understanding and improved decision making. And last but not least, the expert nurses. Experts are nurses who have more background of experience. They no longer rely on rules to guide their actions under certain situations. They know what needs to be done. They have an intuitive grasp of the situation based on their deep knowledge and experience. The expert nurse performance is now fluid, flexible, and highly proficient. And here is a visual representation of the novice to expert model. With water, sun, and soil, a tiny seed can grow into a majestic tree. And just the same with proper educational background, as well as a multitude of experiences, a novice can grow into a highly experienced expert nurse. The four meta paradigms in nursing are person, environment, health, and nursing. Here are the four paradigms in nursing as defined by Patricia Benner. Dr. Patricia Benner viewed nursing practice as the care and study of the lived experience of health, illness, and disease, and the relationships among these three elements. She described nursing as an enabling condition of connection and concern. This shows a high level of emotional involvement in the nurse-client relationship. Benner described a person as a self-interpreting being. That is, the person does not come into the world predefined but gets defined in the course of living life. A person also has an understanding of self in the world. Benner also believed that there are significant aspects that make up a person. She conceptualized the four major aspects of understanding that the person must deal with. One, the role of the situation, the role of the body, the role of personal concern, and four, the role of temporality. This means unfolding over time, becoming observable only after a certain lapse of time. Environment. Instead of using the term environment, Benner used the term situation because it suggests a social environment with social definition and meaning. She used the term situation which could be defined by the person's engaged interaction, interpretation, and understanding of the situation. Lastly, Patricia Benner described health as the lived experience of being healthy and ill. She also defined health as what can be assessed while defining well-being as the human experience of health or wholeness. Young, Lehrer, and White are researchers who found that nurses with more experience reported performing more complex functions than those with less experience. This study examines the influence of investments in education on the nature of activities performed on the job. Attention was also focused on whether registered nurses with a baccalaureate degree differed from graduates of other programs with less schooling, comparing the frequency with which they perform various nursing functions. Results are from data of the 1986 Biennial Survey of Illinois RNs. It showed that BSN nurses perform high skill functions more often, indicating that education does influence the nature of work activities. Another evidence-based example is also from Young, Lehrer, and White. The combined findings in the previous study found that 
BSN nurses earn significantly higher wages than the other nurses. These results suggest that the labor market and healthcare differentiates among nurses by education. Estabrooks, Madodzi, Cummings, Ricker, and Giovanetti are researchers that found that the proportionate of BSN prepared nurses in a hospital was associated with the lower patient mortality. The evidence in their study also indicated that the hospital nursing characteristics such as staffing contributed to better patient outcomes. So this theory is synonymous with my philosophy as a future professional nurse. I believe an efficient nurse is one who is knowledgeable, understands patient care, open to learn, and willing to experience and grow through clinical practice. I believe this theory has changed my views of what it means to be, as Dr. Benner calls it, an expert nurse. According to her concept, an expert nurse is not the nurse with the highest pay, but the nurse who provides the most elaborate execution of nursing care. This nursing theory proposes that expert nurses develop skills and understanding of patient care over time through a proper educational background as well as a multitude of experiences. Dr. Benner's theory is not focused on how to be a nurse, rather on how nurses acquire nursing knowledge. Patricia Benner is a internationally known nursing theorist who made a tremendous impact on the nursing community. She has greatly impacted critical care nursing. She is thankfully alive and well and continues to make contributions to the profession. Dr. Benner recently was a part of a panel discussing the current demand for online learning in the COVID-19 pandemic. The discussion showed how the unfortunate circumstance, that is the pandemic, generated many opportunities through growth, innovation, and new insights. And that is my presentation.